Welcome back. In this video we'll be looking at ways to fix Wi-Fi problems in Windows 10. Whether you can't connect, or it just doesn't work as you want it to. Hopefully I'll cover something that helps. You may get an error that says can't connect to this network or similar, or your Wi-Fi might just stop working without any real explanation. After every possible solution, you'll need to test it to see if it's worked. So let's begin. The first few things to try will be with your Wi-Fi router. We need to rule out that the router isn't the problem. If you've already done this, then feel free to skip ahead a little, but I would recommend resetting your router by turning it off and unplugging it. Try reconnecting it and turning it back on after around 10 to 20 seconds. If you still can't connect to it, then to rule out the router being at fault, you can try connecting another device, such as your phone to it. If that works with no problems, then we know that the problem is likely with your PC. If no devices can connect, then there's a problem with your router or its own connection. If the problem lasts longer than a few hours, it's probably worth checking with your internet service provider to see if they can advise you on what to do. Now that we've ruled out the router being the problem, we'll look at some of the fixes on your PC within Windows 10. We'll start by doing a few simple checks. Firstly, go to the main settings page. You can get here by clicking on the cog icon from within the start menu. In settings, go to network and internet, and then choose the Wi-Fi option from the left side. It should be the second option on the list. In here, make sure that Wi-Fi is turned on. If it was already, then we can move on, but if it wasn't, it should now work properly. Next, find the flight mode option from the options on the left, and check that this is turned off. If it was on, this will likely be the reason you can't connect. We can now try forgetting and reconnecting to the network, and to do this you want to click on the Wi-Fi icon in the taskbar, and then right click on your router name, and then click forget. You can then try reconnecting, and this might help, but you will need to re-enter the password. If you haven't already, it might be worth restarting your PC now to see if the restart itself fixes the problem. If the issue occurred after installing a recent Windows 10 update, then you can try uninstalling that update. You only need to do this though if you are confident the update caused the problem. I'll leave a link to a video showing you how to uninstall a recent Windows update in the description. The next thing to try will be to let Windows see if it can detect any obvious problem. To do this, go back to the main settings page, and this time choose Update and Security. Now choose Troubleshoot from the options on the list on the left. In here, find the option that says Internet Connections. Click on it, and then choose Run the Troubleshooter. When the Troubleshooter window opens, select the top option that says Troubleshoot my connection to the internet. Allow Windows to fix any problems it can automatically. If it shows a problem but it can't fix it automatically, then I would recommend searching on the internet on another device for potential fixes. As I don't know the specific issue it might find, it's difficult for me to recommend what to do. However, I may cover it in the rest of this video, so keep watching just in case. If Windows found and fixed the problem, then test your internet connection now. If it still doesn't work after running the troubleshooter, we'll move on to some more possible fixes. The next thing to try will be to reset our network connection settings. To do this, we need to head to the command prompt. You can get here by searching for it in the search bar but before opening it, you will need to right click on it and select run as administrator. When it opens, we need to input some specific text. I will include this at the bottom of the description if you want to copy and paste it. First enter N-E-T-S-H and then a space, then W-I-N-S-O-C-K, then another space and finally R-E-S-E-T. Hit the Enter key on your keyboard and it should complete immediately and the message will tell you to restart your PC. You won't need to do that straight away though as we have a few more commands to try. The next command to type will be N-E-T-S-H, then space, then I-N-T, space I-P, space R-E-S-E-T. Press the Enter key to run this command. The next command to enter is I P C O N F I G 
space forward slash R E L E A S E. Press enter again to run this one. Now type in I P C O N F I G space forward slash R E N E W and then press enter. Finally type I P C O N F I G space forward slash F L U S H D N S and press enter. Now try restarting your PC to see if any of these commands helped you to reconnect. Next, we'll see if the issue is driver related. If the problem has only just occurred, it might be worth rolling back or trying to update your device drivers. To do this, first go to the device manager. You can get here by searching for it in the search bar. Once in the device manager, find where it says network adapters. Find your network adapter from this list. It should have the words network adapter in its name and it might look like mine, but if you're not sure, then let me know in the comments and I will try and help. When you found it, double click on it and then go to the driver tab. If you think a recent driver update may have caused it, then you can select rollback driver and follow the steps. Whether or not a recent driver update caused the problem, it's worth checking for driver updates. So this time click on update driver and then choose the automatic option. It's unlikely this will work as Windows probably won't be able to search the internet in your case, but it's worth a try to see if it can find anything on your PC. Allow Windows to search for a driver update and then follow the steps. You may need to restart if you either roll back your driver or if Windows finds one to update. We're now going to try disabling and then re-enabling the network adapter. To do this, go back to the device manager and find your network adapter again. Right click on it and select disable device and then yes. Wait a few moments and then right click on it again and then select enable. Now try connecting to your network to see if that fixed it. If that didn't work, we'll now try reinstalling the network adapter. To do this, stay in the device manager and find your network adapter, but this time right click on it and select uninstall device. Check the box that says delete driver software and then click uninstall. You will now need to restart your PC to check if this has worked. Windows will reinstall your device once you start up. You may need to wait a few minutes after restarting for it to work. The next possible fix we'll try is to manually add the network. To do this, we need to go to the network and sharing center, but before that, we'll need to make sure that we are disconnected from the router, so do that now. To get to the network and sharing center, first go to the control panel. You can get there by searching for it in the search bar. In the control panel, click on network and internet, and then choose network and sharing center. You should now have the option to set up a new connection or network, so click on that. Now choose manually connect to a wireless network from the options. It should be the third one and click next. You now need to input the network name, this will be on the router itself, but you should be able to see it when searching for connections. The security type will likely be WPA2, but you may need to check this by researching your router online, or you could try each of the options until it works. Enter the password and then click next. We'll now try changing the wireless network mode of your network adapter. To do this, go back to the network and sharing center. In here, click on change adapter settings from the options in blue on the left. Find your network adapter from the options on this page and right click on it and select properties. Now click configure and then when the new window opens, go to the advanced tab. Now find wireless mode on the list and click on it, then make note of its current setting so that we can revert to it if this doesn't help. Change the wireless mode and click OK to check if it worked. If it didn't help, change it back to the setting it was when you found it. Unfortunately, those are all the possible solutions I have in this video. However, as always, I will leave links in the description to other possible fixes as I find them, so make sure you check in there as something might help. If you think the problem is with your network adapter, then it may need changing. You could try buying a USB Wi-Fi adapter, as these won't cost too much, and it might be a good temporary fix if you believe your adapter is faulty. 
I hope you found the video helpful. If you have any questions or video suggestions, then let me know in the comments below and I will try and respond as soon as I can. I really hope I was able to help. If I did, then remember to leave a like and feel free to subscribe. Thanks for watching and I will see you in another video.